In this video, we're going to try and look at the differentiate y is equal to tan x using a graph. Although this is not usual method used, but we could have a look at it. Um, remember that x has to be measured in radians. So there's a GeoGebra app here, which I will put in the, the link in the notes of the video. So we can see that the green graph here is the graph of tan. We've got the asymptotes here in orange. Okay, and therefore the gradient is given by the tangent drawn at the particular point at the moment. The uh, gradient, yeah, this is at where x is equal to zero. Okay, so if we move this along, move this along, we will get the gradient function trace, traced out. So let's just have a look at that. So if we move this along, now we get sort of a strange graph. It gets steeper, so it's going to go up like that. Okay, and then it's going to come down here, and then again, it's going to come down here. Look up, so it's looking like a graph we might have seen before, and it will look like that. So if we go backwards, we're just going to go like that. Okay, now we might have come across the graph of 1 over cos sec. Okay, where some of it's in the, in the bottom down here, but this actually represents the graph of... If I just move this, move it out of the way. So the red graph here gives us the gradient function. Now you might, and it's a bit difficult to say, you might recognise this as the graph of f of x is equal to sec squared x. If not, this will be proved to you a different method in a later video. So the conclusion is, if y is equal to tan x, dy by dx will be equal to sec squared x. So going back to this, if y is equal to tan x, then dy by dx will be equal to sec squared x. So this has been a video to show you how to find the derivative of tan x using a graph. And the GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the video. Thank you very much for watching.